Hey, hello, I just popped out to the uh, local field here and uh, gonna be testing out this uh, new uh, T2LT antenna that I've uh, <coughs> I've been uh, making for uh, someone. So I've got the Midland Porter Pack, the uh, guy wires, SWR meter, T2LT antenna, some straps and uh, obviously the pole and some pegs and hammer that's uh, all that's required um, so uh, if I was to uh, stick the pole up on uh, on a post or something I'd use those two straps just strap it around job done um, I'll show you the guy wires what we've got is this uh, disc that I've uh, hollowed out it's actually the, the uh, foot of a bunk bed so I've uh, hollowed out the middle and it fits perfect slides down over the pole and uh, we got three guy wires coming off it, so um, I'll show you that when we uh, get to it. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of questions lately uh, regarding the uh, the antenna setup, so uh, what I thought I'd do is uh, come out and just show you uh, how to set it up on your own, basically. So, uh, right, bear with me and uh, we'll, we'll go through it. So, um, yeah, I actually snapped the end off my pole the last time I took it out, so um, that's got to be repaired. But the first thing, uh, obviously, to do is to uh, just slide the collar down over. Uh, make sure that goes on first, otherwise uh, you won't get it on after. And then what we're going to do is uh, just tape the antenna in uh, various places uh, all the way down the pole. So um, we'll do that and uh, show you what it looks like very uh, <coughs> quickly then the antenna it's a uh, nine foot of exposed electric um, with some heat shrink and then 102 inches of the uh, the rest of the coax rest of the coax down to the uh, RF choke which is um, five turns around uh, four and a quarter inches uh, Waste pipe is uh, ideal for the job. Um, we are missing a ferrite feed off this particular one. And, uh, so there we go, that's it, right. Simply uh, a case of uh, taping it now to the uh, to the pole. So um, We've also got a bit of heat shrink uh, across the top, just to uh, keep the weather out. Okay, let's, uh, let's tape him on. Catch you in a minute. Okay, so here we have it taped up, uh, all taped up. If you uh, notice, we just put a, we actually tape it on the uh, on the uh, sections where the pole uh, come up, and uh, also ensuring that the the, uh, the join where the uh, it's not a join, but where the uh, centre of the electric comes out, there's a uh, some there. I always do that just to uh, take the strain off it. So uh, yeah, simply uh, taped on and uh, now we're going to get him up. What we're going to do is uh, put two guy wires in first. So I'll have a guy wire there and a guy wire there. Lift the pole up and using the third guy wire to pull it up, uh, peg it in way over there. So you've got your three in. So uh, that's next. So uh, two guy ropes are in. The two that way, and now it's uh, a simple case of getting the third one in, which will go up uh, over that way. I can't do uh, both, but um, the general idea is that goes up. No, I can't. I'll have to show you when it's up. And all this at ground level. I haven't had to stand up at all and uh, go up uh, me simply holding up the, the rest of it now and uh, get this uh, last one in and uh, it'll be up and then we'll uh, check the SWR okay all, uh, all wired up I'm not going to go through uh, checking the SWR because uh, I'm sure you all know how to do that if not 
don't be afraid to ask a question. Right, um, you may notice I've not got uh, much slack on you, but I've got enough. But uh, bear in mind, this is a 9 meter pole it's up on. So obviously, uh, if you've got a shorter pole, you'll have uh, more left. But there is more than enough there. If you've got a 10 meter pole, you need a bit more, obviously. But um, yeah, that's it. So uh, I'm going to go on with uh, testing the SWR and I'll show you the results. It's a bit leaning actually, I better straighten that out before I start. Right, uh, catch you in a minute. <coughs> As you can see, we've got a uh, Charlie Tango 171 from Spain, 3 0 division coming through on channel 23. Um, SWR indicated the antenna needs uh, shortening a bit, so uh, folded the top over and uh, brought it down so uh, the SWR is actually fine now a 163 division try and 163 division One six three Charlie Tango zero zero nine. One six three Division Triumph. <laughs> right. Can't get through to him. Uh, didn't think I would. This location's at the, not the best, but um, as you can see, it's uh, we've got big mountains each side of me here, and uh, never mind. It would have been nice to get through, but uh, the whole point was to uh, check the SWR. So um, we go down to 20 and uh, quickly try it there. And uh, the SWR on 20 is uh, just on a three, just over a three, so um, it's a bit high. Uh, the sun's on it, I can't see it to turn anything. Right, I'm going to sort this SWR out and uh, catch you in a bit. Um, yeah, falling over an inch at a time, and it's uh, that much shorter now as you can see. So um, the SWR is coming down nice. Uh, we're on about 1.6 at the minute. A um, bit more fine tuning and uh, should be right. Right, so we got a 10 inch, 10 inch fold at the top, and uh, the SWR on 20 is uh, 1.5. So um, <coughs> we'll fold him over another inch or two, and uh, should get him to one to one. Right. Right, so. Uh, We got just over, uh, just a, a tad over a 10 inch fold, and uh, we've got SWR of uh, 1.5. Uh, this meter is a bit off, so it is a bit lower than that. But um, quite happy uh, leaving it there for this particular location. Uh, as you know, uh, SWR can go up and down uh, different locations there, so. Um, different size uh, well lots of uh, different uh, reasons for it so um, yeah there we go I get it down to 1.5 and uh, obviously uh, you'll have more time than me to uh, fine-tune it a bit more so uh, there you go this particular antenna is uh, a 10 inch fold so uh, in this situation it might be uh, it might could work out more it could work out less all depends but um yeah definitely uh working a treat uh i've had a few uh reports and uh as you hear we've got uh, spain banging through on it um so yeah it's uh all looking good all looking good so um yeah that's all good this is uh ready to send off 
Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Hope it uh, helped you out and answered a few questions there. Uh, catch you later. Bye for now.